Okay, I'm just uh, about to enter Gloucestershire Dock or Gloucester Docks. Mainly leisure craft now. Coffee shops, eateries. But uh, if I remember rightly, some years ago, there's been a few scenes of um, Pirates of the Caribbean were filmed in here. The Needing Line, which was a, a long running TV series. I remember transporting the crew and actors over from uh, Cheltenham Hotels over to here. Quite busy today with the schools being on holiday. And breaking my neck, watch what I'm doing. Slow wander round. As I said, mainly leisure craft. There might be some bigger stuff round in the main uh, basin. We'll be round there in a minute. Fantastic day. I've only walked from the bus station up to the docks through the town centre and uh, Whereas years ago I preferred Cheltenham Town Centre, now Gloucester has definitely got it 100% better. Cheltenham seems to be standing still. Don't spend any money on the, the town centre, as I've mentioned before. But Lost has really got it um, got it going properly. Not sure what this is in here, museum I think. Yeah, military museum. I wouldn't mind one of them parts on a drive saw. Yeah, Soldiers of Gloucestershire Museum. That's a bit of a brutal machine, isn't it? Look at that. It won't be on the front end of that one. I said it before, I said again, I can't get over what a fantastic day. At last, we've had some really grotty weather the last six to eight weeks. I don't think this is going to last, but make, out, make hay weather. Oh, shut up. Enjoy it while we can. That's easier. <laughs> old warehouses. Imagine when the sailing ships used to come in. I thought the Gloucester Council took over this block at one point. Maybe they've moved somewhere else. The walls over there with the railings on the top, beyond the flags, was the old Gloucester prison which they closed down. And unlike Oxford, I think they demolished a lot of it. Which was a shame because Oxford turned out their um, 
their cell blocks into apartments. Interesting place to live. This is the main basin. Dry docks over there. Looks like that's still an antique warehouse, the lock warehouse. This is an antiques. They're replacement, they're modern. Dry docks are over in the corner. Uh, Herbert Warehouse, Kimberley, Phil Potts, Alexandra. Dread to think what the moorings cost. I think I'll actually walk round this way. Um, That's the entrance over there down into the Seven Estuary. Oh, these rowing boats are a new thing, I've never seen these before. What a good idea. This is the entrance going north up onto the Seven, heading up to Worcester. And beyond, Filling that one up or emptying it. There's nothing waiting to go out, there might be one waiting to come in. Yeah, get a good view from this side. Big area. And over that way is the Gloucester Keys, which is like a modern shopping centre. I suppose you can rent those boats, I don't know. A couple of... Uh, sailing ships down here. Those warehouses over that way, where I'm pointing now, were used. So I remember standing on this side and they were getting it ready for something to do with Johnny Depp and the... Uh, but I don't think he actually did any filming here, but the, it was part of one of the Pirates of the Caribbean scenes. Anybody knows anything, let me know. I'm glad I chose today to come over, it's nice. These apartments aren't as expensive as you think. I haven't checked the prices this time, but I remember seeing one for sale a couple of years ago for 65,000, only a one bedroom, but for 65 grand to live around here would be brilliant. Walk into the city. That blue thing, I wonder what that is, it looks like a big snail stood on its back end. <laughs> Josephine Plymouth, that yacht there, beautiful old boat in it, look at that, wow, fantastic. 
Here we are going over the dry docks. There's one being uh, worked or worked on, they finished work on that. Sorry. I was going to walk around but they blocked this path sadly. Not quite finished I should imagine, otherwise they'd have moved it out by now. It's a nice little boat. This one is, I don't know. Car house, St Vincent. Uh, I'm trying to think where I know St Vincent, but I can't think whereabouts it is. Obviously, ocean going. These are my favourites. I love these sort of boats. That's a nice one there. Look at that. All the sails. Like this one's just come in. Ready to have work started. Yeah, St Vincent. Where is St Vincent? I'll have to Google that later. Yeah, it's come in for a bit of a makeover. all the eateries and coffee shops up there at the end of that waterway. Family of swans coming in to have a look round. That's the museum over there. Been in there a few times. I used to bring coach loads of kids over. Oh, there used to be a um, coffee shop on a barge up there. No more. That place over there, uh, just beyond the Queen Bodicea, or yeah, Bodicea too, is Weatherspoons, which I shall be heading to. Hopefully, use their Wi Fi to download this video. Imagine what this was like when it was all sailboats. Amazing. Yeah, Weatherspoons took over a few of the old buildings. That's one, that guy knows what he's doing. He keeps these buildings alive. Costa Brewery. What's that one there? Royal Enfield. That'll be one of the Indian models. Nice looking bike. 550 is it? No, it's a 350. Wow. That's a nice looking bike that. We've got the beer garden. Ah, they're just lifting the swing bridge. So somebody's obviously coming in. Yeah, I should be heading into Weatherspoons in a moment. Let's see what's coming in. Oh, it's only uh, like a canal barge. 
that's the way down to the Severn and out into the Severn Estuary. It's the back end of the shops in the, uh, the shopping centre there. Old lighthouse boat. There's still a few derelict buildings down there. I wonder if they'll ever get round to doing anything with them. I hope they don't pull them down. They're well worth saving. But, uh, can't see where those rowing boats have come from. Well, there you go folks, Gloucester Docks on a really lovely August day. Some visitors coming in. The Canal Boat Club. I was very tempted to buy one of these about 20 years ago in, in the docks, it was really uh, just right for living on but when I saw the fees that you have to pay to moor it, I didn't bother. Anyway, I'm going to wait for the bridge to come down, I'm going to head in there and try and load this. Their Wi-Fi is pretty good but it does take a while. So uh, keep looking on this channel, if you're watching this I'll be going out to South East Asia in about uh, just over two weeks and I'll be um, posting a lot more out there, beaches, resorts, Bangkok etc etc. Keep watching, cheers.